Well, my name is Bentley. We are originally from Fiji. We moved in uh, to sorry, that's so bad. Sonoma like eight years ago, and we love Sonoma. I mean, whatever happened doesn't change the fact that we really, we really love falling in love with Sonoma County and all that it has to offer. Anyway, my son sent me an early morning text on, I think, Friday morning, 1 a.m. Uh, he sent me a picture of whatever is painted in the background there and said I saw this just as I was driving in. I mean, at first, I, I just took it lightly. I brushed it off and didn't think much of it. But then, uh, you know, I, I only read about it in the news. I watch it on TV, I've never seen it like, experienced it first hand. And then, and it's, later it kind of dawned on me and then, you know, I'm, I was almost in shock. And I really don't know what to do and how to go about dealing with it. But, uh, you know, I'm so grateful that we have great neighbors who just come out in, in strong support and just, just show the love. You know, I'm just so grateful for people like, like Pam and, and Dave next door and who just just, just uh, come and just poured out so much love and concern, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, right now I, I, I don't know, I, I just don't know where to go from here, but uh, we're having a party, a block party tomorrow, and, uh, you know, we'll just take it from there. Oh, okay, so we have a, a motion sensor camera, and uh, it actually caught the, the guy. Uh, uh, I think the, the cops have spoken to him, but uh, then he came by this morning. I wasn't around. He spoke to my wife and uh, my sons and said that he wanted to apologize. So, but I had given clear instructions to my wife, my family, and said that if anyone comes by to apologize for, the, you know, just tell him to wait. I want to be there. And so he gave, he left a number, and uh, I called the number at noon today, and uh, he, he picked up, and uh, we spoke, and he said, you know, I'm really sorry, but I, I want to come by there, and uh, you know, face to face. And I said, sure, you know, you're welcome. Come home. Uh, and so he's coming home tonight, and I've invited uh, two of the other neighbors just to just sit in, and because. I know it's affected all of us, and I didn't realize how much uh, it would impact on my neighbors. And it just shows how much concern, and you know we can't stand for anything like this. And uh, you know that's the stand we'll take, and you know we'll continue to just promote. Yeah. I'm here in my neighborhood in the Northwest Santa Rosa Coffee Park neighborhood, and. When I came home from work yesterday, my daughters told me about this um, this sad and terrible graffiti that was on my neighbor's house. So first, I struggled with what should I say? I wanted to reach out, and I didn't know. I didn't want to invade your privacy. I didn't want to offend you, but I knew I needed to reach out in love. So I came over, and I expressed my concern, and was so warmly greeted by your sons and and your wife, and. Well, as we stood there, more neighbors started coming as they got home from work, and we were also concerned, and we knew we needed to do something right away, some kind of expression of how that's not what our street is about. That's not who we are as a community. In fact, I've always treasured this neighborhood as being very diverse. There's people from all over the world that live on this street, and I love it. Um, and so we're going to throw a party, and that's the best way. We're going to get to know each other's names. We're going to celebrate who we are, and we're going to love one another. That's what we're going to do.